Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Stephen Williams, founder and president of the Credit Repair Shop uh, This video here is just showing debt being released on the market. Uh, some of it is new. Some of it just must haven't been sold yet because probably debt collectors, you got to find a, a ruthless debt collector to buy some of this debt because if you look at it, the average charge off dates on some of these are horrendous. This past statute of limitations for most of the states. Uh, but we have a, this one here is credit card accounts, $243 million. $243 million, 4,580, accounts, average charge off date 2007, average balance $5,300. Um, uh, obviously past the statute of limitations, they're trying to, you know, get, get a debt collector to take that. That's going to just go after people that don't know their rights. And uh, you got 40, 45,000 accounts. Uh, if they settled five of those accounts, you never know. I mean, not five. If they settle a thousand of those accounts, they're going to make uh, a ton of money from people that don't even know that they potentially don't even have to pay because 2007, there's only uh, one state that has statute of limitations passed. 10 years um here's another account here credit card account 27.6 million 24,000 accounts uh we got charge off date 07 1148 uh again that one's past statute of limitations for most states here's another one 6.5 million dollars uh, uh, 1950 accounts 2008 8 24 2008 that's the average charge off date 3348 is the average account balance. Here's another one here. This one is payday loans, 1.1 million 492 accounts, 2014. All, usually the payday loans are the ones that hit the market uh, the, the quickest because those are some of the ones that are easy. I think it's just easier for debt collectors to, to put pressure on people. So these usually don't uh, stick around that long. They usually get bought, but still, this is past statute of limitations for a lot of states. For my state of Wisconsin, this is uh, past statute of limitations. Here's another one here. These 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 three are all major credit cards, 70, uh, point nine million, 62 point million, 54 point nine million. You can see 5,017 accounts, 4,286. 4, Accounts 3,871 accounts charge off dates 2008. Look at these are these balances here. As a matter of fact, I take that back. These are these are auto uh, these are auto deficiencies. These are people who had their automobiles repossessed. People that had their automobiles repossessed. So uh, that's what this debt is. So a debt collector is going to buy these debts from a repo debt and uh they're gonna try to collect it but you know past statute of limitations for most states here's uh another mixed one here this looks like it's like jewelry store uh smaller accounts almost two thousand each these are credit cards uh for 48 48 million dollars thirty two thousand is the uh amount 1500 balance 18,000 18 million 18.8 million dollars 9300 accounts to average charge off date is 2006 way past statute of limitation uh and two thousand dollars average balance uh this one here more like department store cards 1.1 1. 1 million 1 million uh 32,000 1200 accounts 2008 average account 852 so you know that those like those uh chart department store charge cards uh this one here is re more retail cards probably upper level chains 5.3 million 1800 accounts 2011 charge off uh 2800 this one here is mixed credit cards 881,931 it must be smaller accounts here this one here is a jewelry store uh 1 million 
it's probably one of the smaller jury lenders 2012 charge off date this one here non sufficient funds check I remember this one from a little bit ago some of these are repeats uh, 2.1 million 2006 statute of limitations way gone on these actual statute of limitations two years on these so they can't even come after people unless this was um, at minimum 2018 account but people don't know and they try to hold this over people's heads and they'll some people will pay they're buying these accounts for pennies on a dollar so they'll take the risk this is another group of mixed credit cards 20 uh, 1.8 million dollars 1100 counts 2011 uh 1.6 uh, one thousand six hundred forty-one dollars average balance. So, if you get any of these, you know you can look at my videos on what you should do uh, when you get a letter from a debt collector. Because first thing they're going to do is they're going to send you a letter and they're going to try to collect this debt. But you had opportunity to uh, dispute it. When you dispute it, first thing you need to do is to just look at it. And um, let me get my notes here. I just made another video and tore, tore up my notes. But the first thing you need to do is to find out statute of limitations. You can go to my website, thecreditrepairshop.com. Um, check out the statute of limitations. And you need to also look at your credit reports to see when that charge-off date was done. It may not even be on your credit reports anymore. And if you don't answer that letter when they send it to you, if you don't answer that letter, you're going to allow them to place it on your credit. And if you mess up, if you slip up and accidentally pay them even a dollar, you're going to have that debt be reauthorized and it's going to start the, the, the statute of limitations process all over again. Uh, so you want to look on your credit reports, make sure that it doesn't say that it was canceled. You want to look at the, the statute of limitations on that. And, uh, and then it probably is going to say that it was sold. And uh, but th looking at this debt here, this is they're going to go after thousands of people when these are sold. They're going to go after a lot of people for these debts and a lot of people are going to end up paying when they don't actually have to pay. So make sure you watch my videos when I talk about uh, debt collections. Don't pay debt collections. Look, never pay debt collections. Look at my videos where I talk about that because I walk you through step by step on what to do. On those, so uh, please like this video because I like to keep you up to date on what debt is being released into the market. Uh, so please like my videos, please post your comments and questions. Please visit my website, thecreditrepairshop.com. If you need your credit report, everything starts there. Go to your the number three scores.com. This is Stephen Williams, founder and president of credit repair shop.com. Until next time.